For nearly a decade, Israel's Iron Dome has been lighting up the sky, intercepting enemy rockets with a reported 90 percent success rate. Israeli homeowner Rashi Rosenzweig has a front row seat. It's a terrifying thing. You see the rockets coming, but then you see the Iron Dome uh, rockets intercept it, and it's done with ease. He's describing his country's one-of-a-kind aerial defense system spread throughout Israel. The Iron Dome is not really a dome at all. It's a system made up of several air defense artillery batteries. Each battery contains a radar unit, control center, and missile launchers. Here's how it works. Once an enemy rocket is fired, a radar system detects the incoming threat and alerts the command center. The center determines the type of projectile and estimates its impact point. A launcher then fires a missile at the incoming rocket. The missile explodes near the rocket, destroying it mid-flight before it can cause any destruction on the ground. This process creates an invisible shield or dome from the death and destruction of most incoming rockets. In the recent 11-day conflict with Gaza, Palestinians reported a death toll of more than 200, while Israel reported 12. Construction began in 2007 out of necessity, as the small nation was unable to fully defend itself during air raids with neighboring countries and regional militants. Dr. Daniel Gold created the Iron Dome while heading research and development for the Israel Defense Forces. He was interviewed for Izzy Media's Under the Iron Dome documentary. Nobody thought it would work. They said, here he is again with some massive project that'll take 15 to 20 years, billions of dollars, nothing will come of it. Now it gives Israel its greatest home field advantage. It also gives people in the country a sense of security. Aviv Gilad lives in central Israel. There's this iron dome that protects me, my family, my friends, and everyone. But while the system is highly effective, it's not perfect. It's unable to intercept a faster guided rocket or nuclear warheads. The limitations are also geographic. Each battery can only protect 60 to 95 square miles at a time. Additionally, Israel's enemies are adapting, firing several rockets at once in an attempt to overwhelm the dome system. And it's no surprise that the life-saving technology isn't cheap. Each interceptor missile is estimated to cost between fifty and $100,000. Despite the challenges, Israel is working to monetize its Iron Dome technology. And other countries, like the U.S., are buying. Two batteries have already been delivered to Fort Bliss in Texas. Army officials say they plan to deploy the equipment for use later this year, likely at an American base in the Middle East. Israel has dubbed their Iron Dome an ironclad success. The Iron Dome is a total godsend. For other countries, it's too soon to tell. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to rate this story on our website's bias meter.